They're, uh, when I saw Ruben over the weekend, we were talking about that compressor he gave me. And uh, Ruben was interested, in, you know, not interested, he wondered if I still had it. Of course I got it, Ruben. But uh, we did talk about it, and I says that the um, compressor is actually very scary. That uh, some of the welds the guy did when he welded the angle line into the tank, I think has uh, uh, altered the structure and impaired the uh, uh, integrity of the tank, to say the least. And I truly don't know how much that tank could hold. I don't know if it could hold 10 pounds or a thousand pounds of pressure. I have no idea. I think what I'm going to actually wind up doing because it's it's a shame too because the motor runs absolutely mint, it's a four horse Briggs, so of course it's going to run mint, it doesn't smoke, it doesn't have any noises, the compressor head works absolutely mint, but I think what I'm going to do is I think I'm going to uh, cut the plate off, with part of the angle line still coming down, so it's still a complete unit, so you'll have the motor and the pump, the belt and all the crap still has one unit together and I think I'm going to uh, you know, pull the wheels off and just scrap the tank so nobody gets hurt with it and then I'll just store it then if we need a motor for something or use that as a portable something you never know you just gotta have a, you have to have a way to uh, bleed the air off if you can use it that way uh, because if you hook just a hose to it and start it up that hose is going to explode because that pump's going to keep going so it has to be a way to bleed it off so, but I'm going to save it because it's a, it's a perfectly mint operating pump and I still don't think it's operating to speed. So, I'm curious how much CFM that pump can put out. As I know all pumps are rated, they have a certain CFM for a certain RPM rating. And it's uh, usually different than what the compressor says it at. You know what I mean? Like your compressor will say 2 CFM at 90 PSI. The actual, well it's not the CFM, it's the displacement that it'll put out at a certain uh, revolution and uh, that motor was definitely spinning slow that I can tell you there was also no strain on the engine it just had to be raised up my biggest fear what it was is even when I had the thing bled off that if that thing stuck and you didn't realize it you actually had a bomb so and I'm sure that guy used that thing many 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 years it looked like it many years. I don't know what he had the pressure at. But, you know, it only takes the one time and you're done. Everybody's done. So, well, Ruben just texted me. But, um, yeah, so I see myself cutting that off. Um, and when we spoke about it, he didn't realize how dangerous it was either, but now he's aware of it. So, but, uh, and as you saw, that generator just works mint. I adjusted the voltage coming out of it a while back and, and I use it every single week and the reason I use it is I have a gas powered blower a nice professional one and the fuel line cracked it's a very thin hard line and I got one never put it on it was the end of the year then uh, when the season started I didn't have gas for it so I grabbed my old electric blower but I didn't have enough extension cord because I cut through all my cords with the edge trimmer. So I was like, oh, I got Ruben's generator. So now I go out there with the generator and the plower, and I've been doing that all season. As you see, I got I got the hand truck there. I don't even carry it. <laughs> and I'll be honest with you, this whole year, I'm lucky I used a quarter of a tank if that if, if that much. So I only put a little bit in at a time and wait for it to run out, because I'm that cheap. But, uh, yeah. thing runs mint. I don't know if I'd run electronics off it. You know what I mean? But for what it does, it does okay. So, well, that's it. Calling it good. Talk to you later.